yeah. you are in uh, you are in several big boards and you are in touch with several big business uh, persons this tax mm. cut uh, mm. is it translating into capex of any kind see the first and foremost thing in india is you know to get the sentiment up and i think that's true not only in india but across the countries across the world and i think the tax cut what it has done more than anything else is to get the sentiment up and it's this is very essential because only when your sentiment is positive only when then your confidence builds in putting more money into capex see immediately you will not find capex plans because they take time uh, these things have to be worked on you have to assess so many other parameters before you go in for capex but the best thing is that you know the positive sentiment uh, regarding uh, corporate uh, um, uh, corporate india regarding corporate uh, ventures that you know that sentiment has definitely uh, been revived and i think that's a very good thing especially with the festive season coming on people out there shopping for you know their near and dear ones this is the time when the sentiment really needed to improve and i think the tax cut has definitely done that uh, ms bhattacharya this is sonia here we are definitely going to take you yeah. up on your offer to join us here in the studio because we are missing your candor and your sense of humor quite a bit so we're not going to let you go that easily but you know we've uh, been speaking about all the uh, positives Th there's this big negative that has blown up as well over the last fortnight which is this whole uh, real estate lending side and what happened with the altico default the pmc issue as well um how would you read into that and do you think a lot more landmines will come up now see uh, sonia you have to remember something you know npas are not something that happen only once in a while mm. you know whenever you are doing business there is always a risk of npas however it shouldn't become a flood and that's what happened you know 2 3 years back uh, the flood i think has been stymied but every once in a while you will have a certain blow ups you will have some um, some um, businesses failing whether it is on account of the environment on account of technology evolution on account of corruption on account of various other reasons but the fact of the matter is that you know every once in a while you cannot expect that there will be no you know no npas or no big ones coming up at all so i don't think you know that these things should actually stymie the economy mm. we have to learn to take many things in our stride one thing i will definitely tell you and again this is from my experience as a part time consultant in many places and as a independent board member there is a far better appreciation that leverage is not the way to go forward that you know there is a very big part that equity plays in every business and therefore you know every business responsible business today understands you know that there should not be leverage beyond a point and in fact many of them want to be far below that point mm. so you know there is definitely far more understanding today in corporate india there is also a definitely an effort to bring in better corporate governance but at the end of the day one must understand that you know after all it is the management that is responsible and therefore you know what the management shows is what the board sees now therefore one thing you can always say is that the board needs to be more inquisitive needs to have better knowledge but again the board has very limited time mm. and therefore you cannot again expect that everything that should be done will get done unless the management also cooperates so it's very important for us to understand that the players the players in the ecosystem they all play their own part so whether it be auditors who are the eyes and ears of the board and of the management so to speak whether it be valuers who actually allocate a value that is reasonable and there could be a maximum value there could be a fire sale value distress value so you know you need to have that there is then of course you know the other people the legal people and uh, the accountants and everybody else around and most and for foremost is the management mm. so i think you know all of this is slowly beginning to dawn on india again i believe that india is evolving very very fast mm. and uh, uh, probably this evolution if you look at the developed country they did it over a larger period of time far larger period of time
but we because you know we are still just 70 years old and 70 years in the life of a nation it's um, i used to keep saying that we are still in our teenage years so we are going through our teenage pains mm-hmm. but i believe that the evolution is quite fast that the awareness amongst people has definitely risen uh, whether it be uh, directors whether it be management everybody is far more aware today about what corporate governance is all about and therefore you know hopefully we will see less and less of these blowouts you know as we go forward mm. of course when the blowouts happen there is always a backlash mm. and that is when the market freezes mm. for a time till it takes it into stride understands what is happening and go- goes forward mm. and because of that i think it's important for most companies to look at liquidity risk very very closely because at the end of the day cash is king mm. and if you're not liquid you're going to go under okay. so you know come what may in the best of times and in the worst of times you need to keep assessing your liquidity to see that there is no liquidity mismatch okay. and that you are liquid enough to hold out for 2 2 3 months yeah. by the time the market sort of stabilizes okay. but again as i said don't expect ever that there will never be any blowouts and everything yeah, will course. get cleaned out it never happens of course of course Uh, you know that, thomas cook went down for instance in the uk yes now why did they go down such a old firm mm. so you know it will happen you know business is a question of risk taking so if you're taking risks there will be time when the risks blow up in your face we need to be prepared for it okay well uh, ma'am I, i wanted to ask you about external benchmarks you know yeah. uh, for a couple of decades uh, the reserve bank has been trying we tried base rate bplr plr mclr you think uh, what's your view on this uh, external benchmarks see the problem that i have is not with external benchmarks i think external benchmarks are fine but you can't have your balance sheet you know which is uh, on one side you are basing it on external benchmarks and on another side you have fixed rates mm. that doesn't work that's a mismatch so you know you can't have a basis mismatch as it's called mm. you can't have that on two sides mm. so if you're going to link your loans with external benchmarks you've got to link your deposits with external benchmarks mm. and there the problem in india is twofold one mm. is that most of india because we don't have social security depends on bank interest mm. especially senior citizens they depend on bank interest in order to Uh, you know spend their retired lives mm. and therefore for them if you have an external benchmark mm. and you don't know whether you're going to get 7000 this month or 3000 this month how on earth will you you know even budget for your expenses mm. so you know that's a very big issue and actually de facto the bank interests are the ones that act as the social security net in our country mm. okay. so one thing that we need to do is to very aggressively push our pension plans mm. even when i was the chairman i did everything possible in order to push distribution of mm. pension but the problem again there is that you don't reward the distributors enough <laughs> you call for bids which are very very low now as a result of that is uh, as a result of that mm. the distributors they have no incentive yes. in going ahead and pushing pension as a product yes the more and more people come on to the pension product the less will be your dependence on the market absolutely mm. also as i said there is another thing and that is in india much of our the resources of the bank that is the liability side of the bank is built by bank deposits why because people had very low risk appetite mm. they didn't want to go into the markets and risk the market risk mm. okay so 97 90 to 97% of bank balance sheets they have deposits as their resources as their liabilities now all of this is fixed interest and it reprises yeah. mainly in 1 to 3 years now when one side of the balance sheet is reprising in 1 to 3 years how are you going to reprise the other on a daily basis Mm-hmm. there is a, as i said a basis mismatch and we must understand this okay. in order of course one good um, uh, development that i think has happened in the market is that today the risk profile of our depositors is changing again because we are a young country and because we are a young country the young are able to take risks yeah. and that is why you have seen the mutual fund market actually yeah. triple yeah. in the last 3 years also it has been helped by a very indian innovation called sip 
the systematic investment plan takes away only 1000 2000 or even 500 yeah. rupees a month which is what most indian families can afford they don't sure. have too much of you know uh, discretionary spending they don't have too much of excess but they can afford to put 1000 rupees Fair into point. a mutual fund account on a regular basis yeah. now that if you do it you know from the age of 21 over a period of time will grow into substantial sure. amounts yeah. so you know what us has as the 401k mm. we need to have more and more of these plans and Fair we need point. to cover everybody Fair professional point. or otherwise Fair and point. only when we get that then the banks will be free yeah. to also mark their liabilities with the external benchmarks plus not only be dependent on deposits for resources mm. but start doing market borrowings as they do in the developed yes. world in the developed world at the time of the lehman crisis most banks had 50% deposits 50% yeah. market borrowings today they are a little more conservative so it is 70% deposits 30% market borrowings okay. but even when you do 30% market borrowings the moment the external benchmark rates go down or mm. up you can reflect it because 30% is a substantial sum here in our banks if you are only at say 90% deposits and only 10% market borrowings for a 25 basis point cut you can only get a 3 to 2 basis points uh, uh, lowering of uh, your uh, margins yeah. okay yes. or sorry lowering of your uh, expenses and therefore that's what you can afford to pass on